Sunday, September 8th, around 1.30 a.m., officers in the downtown area of Lincoln, Nebraska were alerted to a fight in the 100 block of North 11th Street. Shootings happened Saturday night and early this morning. One person is dead and two others are injured, but LPD says they don't believe the incidents are related. Police are investigating a homicide that happened early this morning at around 1.30 a.m. Officers were called to a fight near 11th and O Streets in downtown Lincoln. When they got to the scene, officers found two men with gunshot wounds. Both were taken to the hospital for emergency treatment. LPD says a 24-year-old Lincoln man died from his injuries. According to a GoFundMe and an adult film production company, the man has been identified as Savion Hopkins. The other man is considered stable with non-life-threatening injuries. The investigation is ongoing. Jay was a hardworking individual. Having graduated from USC, his star was on the rise. He was a fashion and fitness model for brands such as Rockstar Original, Draws Brand Co., and Fashion Nova Men. When he wasn't starring in his own music videos, Who the fuck won't step on me? Hmm. Nobody get by this touch for zero down my credit. Good, no cosign. 50 shots, I blow this bitch. I'm good for least like four bodies. Shoot, call one. If I was talking to Stevie, I folks, I see the vision. Throw these four by Drake's and nines. Don't do two, two, let three on the end. Come outside, I'm trying to crab it. We do head on head collision. Niggas swear this. He's seen in fellow rapper Glorilla's music video. Jay was a creative who had what it took to become mainstream. The aspiring rapper had also become the face of the veneer tech industry, having received certification before launching his own business, working alongside his girlfriend. Jay was also an award-winning adult entertainer, having joined the industry back in 2022 in order to provide for his daughter, siblings, and sick mother. He began by performing solo shows on camera, which eventually progressed to him performing in over 71 hardcore scenes for websites such as Blacked. Deeper and only fans. As news of his passing began circulating, a few of his industry colleagues, such as industry veteran Rob Piper, expressed their condolences. Another adult entertainer who expressed their grief was Lena the Plug, for which Jay was a contestant on her show For the Love of Lena, where contestants competed for a chance to film an adult scene. He did not dance, so you need to get on the table. Oh, I told you. I'll show you how my hips move. You just gotta come right here. Show me. Right here. Oh, Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Like, is this gonna be YouTube safe? But you show the boy, boy, girl, right? Oh, oh. You, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you stay over there. I get this side. Like, so. this, is, this is getting real rated R real fast. <laughs> you feel me? Now, you know, you gotta, you gotta have the chemistry there, though. You feel me? The chemistry gotta yeah, be there. You gotta look like Adam. Adam 23. Adam 23, yeah. 23. And he the least attractive. <laughs> <laughs> what the f? What's wrong with you, niggas, I'm just saying, you said the least. You look like your husband, Adam. You're really just trying to, like, be with me only. Like, you don't want Adam a part of this. We could get married next. Got... He was a devoted son, brother, and father of a 10-month-old daughter. His loved ones described him as being a remarkable person with a heart of gold. Always eager to form genuine connections and friendships, Jay was loyal and protective of the people he cared about. Jay had traveled to Lincoln, Nebraska to celebrate a loved one's birthday and take his mother to the Husker football game. This was a weekend that was supposed to be filled with laughter, smiles, and good memories. However, things would take a tragic turn. According to reports, Jay was standing outside of a bar when around 1.30 a.m., a fight broke out nearby. Jay, who was the protector, stepped in to defend his cousin and subdue the situation. Soon, multiple gunshots pierced through the commotion, wounding Jay and another male. Gun violence continues to be a significant issue in America, with over 46,000 gun-related deaths reported in 2023. This alarming statistic highlights a crisis impacting communities nationwide, prompting urgent calls for reform and increased safety measures. Jay's girlfriend, Maddie Murchison, posted via her Instagram. My whole heart in human form. I can't believe that I have to write this. We had so much planned. I love you so much, Savon. I'm lost for words. When your mom called, I instantly broke down. I've never felt this type of hurt, and honestly, I don't know how to get through it. Any little thing I'd call you, you were my safe place, no matter what we were going through. Knowing I'm a woman of a few words, you made sure to vocalize your love every single day. And a Lincoln family searching for closure after a son, father, and friend was killed. It's our other top story tonight, the family mourning after a loved one was murdered in downtown Lincoln over the weekend. Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson was at a candlelight vigil for him tonight. Mackenzie, how is the family doing? Rod, Seven Hopkins' family is heartbroken after his death. Tonight, through the tears and hurt, 
They're gathering together for strength. Seven Hopkins family says he was taking his mother to the Husker football game on Saturday night. He was shot and killed near 11th and P Streets after several fights broke out, according to police. Devastation weighing heavily on his family now as they try to cope with his death. Seven grew up here in Lincoln. His family and friends here gathering on Tuesday night to grieve the loss of someone they love. With balloons and a picture, they spoke about how giving and kind he was to everyone. Seven's friends tell me he always had a smile on his face and he also had a strong work ethic. As they lit candles, Seven's family honoring the legacy he's leaving behind, including a young daughter. His friends say it's an unbearable pain, and they say a senseless tragedy like this should never have happened. They hope through this sorrow, they can find justice for Seven. As of today, authorities in Lincoln have yet to find the person who committed this monstrous act, taking a father and caregiver away from his loved ones. As you may recall, Jay was working in the adult entertainment industry to provide financial support for his ill mother. If you would like to donate to a GoFundMe that was set up in her honor, the link will be in the description box. Rest in peace, Savian Hopkins, a.k.a. Jay Hefner. Until next time, stay safe, be vigilant, and look out for one another. She said, Lee, that boy a little odd, that ass ain't never come get even. Please. Me and bro shit clothes and we still do that just from Neiman's. If you knew what I paid for all these bowls, you wouldn't believe it. That. Drug beat in my ass, I fall asleep, bitch, say I'm cheating. Hot boy, he gon' spaz if I say so, don't need a reason. <laughs>